BLM wins Australia's Sydney Peace Prize. This is from Rebel Media. Now, in the United States, Black Lives Matters is boasting of the fact it's won the Sydney Peace Prize. It's won the prize, the prize of peace. Founder of Black Lives Matters. She's there coming she to Sydney in November to accept this vicious woman peace prize. It's really a sham prize. As crazy as this might seem, Black Lives Matters, an outfit out there denigrating police, uh, promoting violence against the police, inciting all sorts of troubles with protests on the street. How can they qualify for a peace prize? Interesting that he focuses on the police issue because they go far beyond uh, a police. And I, and I also want to add, by the way, that uh, uh, Black Lives Matter is not a monolithic organization. There are many folks, there are many organizations, many independent groups, some less independent groups. Uh, a, a fair amount of them, I would say, are, are pretty scary, dangerous thugs that have a in some case, black supremacists, some take, take cases socialist, communist, some take cases they're, they're basically black Nazis, some of them, but not all of them. I don't want to paint the whole Black Lives Matter uh, movement with uh, a broad stroke. And uh, my, my biggest issue with uh, the overall movement is not that, that they're necessarily saying bad things about cops. I, I'm not for, for people going around uh, uh, doing violent things. I don't think that a, a violent upheaval is is any good. But the idea of Black Lives Matter winning a peace prize, okay? I'm assuming if, if BLM is getting it, then that means that the, the particular uh, circle of people within the Black Lives Matters movement that associate with this woman. That's what they're recognizing as the winner of the Peace Prize. Let's see, let's see where Mark goes with this, Mr. Mark Latham. Well, I can report from Sydney, Australia, that the Peace Prize itself is an absolute sham. It's always a war. It's a bloody sham. A radical, pro-violence outfit. So maybe Black Lives Matters fit in in that regard. Let's have a look at some of the past winners of this Sydney Peace Prize that's hosted by the City of Sydney Council and the so-called Sydney Peace Foundation. It was given to John Pilger, who's the most radical far left journalist in Australian history. He's always deriding Australia as a genocidal nation. He's a conspiracy theorist. He's an old com who's out there with every single- I don't know anything about that guy. Cause, uh, uh, bagging Israel, bagging the Jews, pro-Palestinian, standing know. up for all these different terrorist groups in the Middle East. Pilger. Pilger is not pro-peace, he's pro-radicalism up and down the line. Other winners have been Noam Chomsky, who at the time said that uh, George Bush was a bigger criminal than Osama bin Laden, and that gave him the Sydney Peace Prize. Not much credibility there. And another winner has been Hannah Ashrawi, a, a known apologist for terrorist causes, pro-Palestinian, anti-Semitic, I mean, down... Okay. I'm not going to wade into exactly who and what these people are. Well, I mean, Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky saying that George Bush was a bigger terrorist than Osama bin Laden. I don't know if lobbing the word terrorist around is, is all that constructive. But in, in point of fact, uh, George Bush, the orders that he gave out killed far more people than Osama bin Laden did. So... I'll let you take that in with a grain of salt. It sounds like this this video here is uh, I you know, my, my biggest focus here is the idea of this this BLM winning any kind of peace prize is is incredibly insane and ludicrous. But Mark uh, Mark, I don't think you quite uh, I don't I don't think that while I'm with you on the BLM thing, I'm not sure that you have the full reality of 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 all of the ways that that people are uh threatening and oppressing your liberties and it's <laughs> and the blm actually i i gotta say blm for me is not as as nearly a threat as well uh, well uh, it's not nearly a threat as as the 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 entities behind the the most powerful uh, media outlets in America today. 
they actually have far more of an impact on uh, influencing actions and threaten my that threaten my liberty than the BLM do. And uh, we're talking about creating a a new reality with this immigration building a wall that uh you know maybe one day i get a suntan like way too much tan one day and suddenly i don't look like a lily white boy and i'm walking down the street and somebody wants my papers we need to see your papers unfortunately i'm a really really pale person so it's not likely that it'll happen but there's a lot of people in america that have been here for generations upon generations that are going to, 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 to come under that we need to see your papers thing. That 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 to me is, is far more of a threat than, than the BLM. And and honestly, I'm I'm no fan of uh bin Laden, but far more of a threat than bin Laden. I'm I'm gonna go for just a little bit more. I wanna see if this guy actually gets to something good because so far he just sounds like a, a nationalist right wing dude. Come on, Mark. Say something. Say something redeeming, because because I've actually heard stuff from Rebel Media that I like, and then I hear this kind of stuff. Down the line, you're getting these award winners who are complete out and out radicals, and Black Lives Matters in the United States don't think for a single minute this has been awarded on the basis of their peace credentials. Perhaps it's appropriate they get this prize because they're very consistent with the past winners. It's all hosted by an academic at Sydney University called Stuart Rees who has come up with a crazy idea of Sydney University, the host uh, university, disassociating itself from every single Israeli institution. How crazy is that? For a Sydney University to have no contact with Israel, one of the most technologically, academically advanced... All right, that's enough of that, folks. We're going to move on.